There's a GQ story ranking the Lakers fans among the worst in all of sports. Yeah, top 15. Top, top 15. All of sports. That's like worldwide. In what regard? How? What do you mean worst? How? Top 15 worst. You guys were ranked with the, with the Yankees. Yeah. The Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies. Yeah, or they they're like spitting on people and <laughs> harassing yeah, people. Yeah, I mean, and their, their main worst. contention against the Lakers is that the fans watch the other famous fans rather than watching the games. Oh, you mean... They are called them Fairweather. Fairweather. Do you have any opinion on, on the, the, the droves that support you game after game in the last 11 years? No, I, all for them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they want to do. They, they're, um, you know, we did not have vociferous fans. I mean, we don't have fans like Utah. They're going to boo the referees on every call. I think they're knowledgeable fans, but they're... Uh, the best followers in the league. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> but they have been known to throw objects on the floor when there's a poor performance. Well, I, I think that was probably one of the best objects ever thrown. A foam, <laughs> foam one, yeah. foam finger. How, how do you like characterize how they are? Is it, is it more nuanced than just saying fair weather or stargazing? I think they're accustomed to success. I think that's, you know, kind of a natural reaction when you have a lot of success. It, you know, people enjoy the show rather than, you know, feeling they have to encourage the team to uh, an element of uh, fanaticism. Being spoiled <laughs> is another way of putting it. Could be. You know, you know, Santa Claus, like the That's a long story. That's not a completely accurate statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you with that.